Hi, this is Info Puppet, and we're gonna work on creating clouds and the lightning effect. You are gonna absolutely love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 12 is open up. This worked fine in PE 10 and PE 11 also. What we're going to start off with is let's go ahead and go to File. And we're going to select New and Blank File. Okay, 1280 by 720 and OK. And there it is. Make sure it was transparent. Now we're going to go to the toolbar and select the gradient tool. And I'm going to click on the edit button. And we're going to select the very first preset. Make it real easy for you. Just select the first preset and then select OK. Alright. Now go from the lower right hand corner to the upper left hand corner and left click, hold and drag. And look at that! It looks just like lightning! Not really. Alright, now we're at filter, render, and difference clouds. Not really seeing the lightning yet. Trust me, guys. Okay, we're gonna go to the move tool, and now I'm just gonna move the clouds over to the image of the house. Left clicking, holding, and dragging. We're gonna go ahead and resize this. Okay, now we're gonna go to the layers panel, and I'm gonna turn off the layer of the clouds. Let's go to the toolbar and select the Quick Selection tool. Now I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging. What happened? It didn't do what I wanted to do. Why do I listen to this guy? Well, you have to select the background layer. Even though the cloud layer isn't invisible right now, you have to select the background layer for the selection brush tool to work. So now I'm left clicking, holding, and dragging and it's making an outline around the house. Now I messed up here. I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key on my keyboard as I'm left clicking and dragging. That lets me subtract from the selection. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click on the eyeball here so we can make the clouds visible again. All right, now we're going to go to Select and Inverse. So now I have selected exactly where the house would be. Now I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard. Still not seeing that lightning. So let's go to layer. New adjustment layer and levels. This is where the magic happens. I'm going to click on OK. The first thing you want to do is slide the output levels around. The black has to go all the way over on the right. Oh, wait a minute. It's affecting the whole image. Well, you got to click on this button right here and it'll just affect the cloud layer. Okay, now we're going to sl slide the black level all the way to the right and the white all, all the way to the left. There you go. I just reversed them. Look! I can see lightning! You're not done yet. It gets better, believe it or not. Now, if you adjust um, these little sliders here, see this little gray slider in the center? Look at that! Now I'm going to adjust the white slider. So if you move these around, you can have different effects. You can have less clouds and more lightning. But you just play with them and get the desired effect that you want. Okay. Now, if you take this white slider and slide it all the way over to really that you only have the lightning, I'll show you what else you can do with this. Okay, that's pretty good right there. Now I'll bring the clouds up a little bit, doing some fine adjustments. Perfect. Okay, now, here's the thing. You go up, click on the layer of the clouds, and change the layer from normal to screen. Now you just have the lightning. Now that kind of doesn't look really uh, that normal because it's a blue sky. But if you just want the lightning, that's how you do it. Now I'm going to show you where you'd really apply this. If you already have an image with rain clouds, I'm just going to go ahead and left click and drag the lightning over, but we're going to lose all the styles. So I'm going to go into fast motion 
There's the, it's got the cloud layer selected. I'm left clicking, holding, and dragging it over. You see all the styles are gone. So I'm just going to go in fast motion now and show you doing that same exact thing, the different effect when you already have the rain clouds. Okay, I've got um, the clouds selected. I'm going to go ahead and inverse that so everything but the clouds are selected and then I'm going to hit delete. There you go. Now I'm going to flip my levels around and there's my lightning already. And there you go. The lightning effect. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, click on subscribe from Info Puppet.